A20-2, so I know that some of you have already uh, looked at this. I went through it with you yesterday, but I thought I'd just go over it again just to make sure that you guys get the idea. Um, so what we're doing now is these quadratic equations, they look a little different, right? But really, you can still just write this as... Oh, sorry, i got to get my pen to work here. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, so you can really still just write this as um, you know, negative... I'll just say this. Y is equal to negative 5x squared plus 20x plus 1. Um, the fact that they put t's here doesn't really matter. In your calculator, you're going to put x's. And in your, if you have a ti in spire instead of a y, this will still be seen as like f of x or f1 of x in your calculator, right? So, um, yeah, it might just look a little different. Not a big deal, though. It's really the same. <clears throat> so... This equation up here, if we put this into our calculator, which I've already kind of done here. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Um, well, the first thing what it's asking here is saying, what's the maximum height? So I got the equation there. I just have to push enter still. Um, first thing I'm going to notice is that I can't even see my maximum height. It looks like it's going up, but I can't see the top. So I need to make my window bigger. So I'm going to go window, zoom, settings. My y max needs to be bigger. So, delete. Okay, my y max, I'm going to say, I don't know, like 25 maybe. Yep, I can see the top now. Not a big deal if you didn't get it at that time. Just keep going up. So, it's asking for the maximum height. So, the height is my y axis, right? That's the axis right here. And if you look at your equation... The height, right? That's the y. So that's the y. It's the up and down. So saying what's the highest that this thing will ever be. And what it's really saying is what's the vertex? What's the peak of this thing? So to do that, what we need to do is go menu, analyze graph, and we're looking for... Um, We're looking for the maximum in this case, right? Because there is a maximum height that it's going to be. So it's going to tell us the point that the maximum would be. If the graph was flipped upside down, so it was, uh, you know, like a like a smiley face, then we'd be looking for the minimum. But this one, we're looking for the maximum, so the top height. So now it's asking me uh, lower bound. So you're going to go to the left of it. Upper bound, you're going to go to the right of it. And it says it's at 2, that's the x value, and then this is the one we want, 21. That's our maximum height, right? The highest it ever gets is 21. In, and it's in meters, so 21 meters. Uh, B says height at 4 seconds. The last lesson we did, we never really did talk about how to find that. So the way you find actually any point, if I want, what it's saying is that x is equal to 4, right? So at 4 seconds... So if I put 4 into place of x here, what would be popped out, or what would y pop out? That's, that's really what it's saying. Um, another way of looking at that is, if you're looking at the graph, when it's at 4, it looks like when it's at 4, it's at 0. Like It looks like a cross is right there, but I don't think it quite does. So what we want to do is make sure we know what it is. So when x is 4, what is y? Or when t is 4, what is our height? Is really what it's asking. So to do that, I find the easiest way to do it, is if you go to trace, and then trace graph, and then that little spider comes out. And what you're able to do is if, if you just put the, um, the x value that you want, so it said four, right? Yeah, when x is four. So I'm gonna put just four. If you push four, the calculator in the bottom here says x is equal to four. It's asking me, do, do you want that little uh, spider to move where x is equal to four? And I say yes. And it moved to where x is equal to 4. And it's actually not right on the line. When x is equal to 4, y is equal to 1. So, yeah, this thing has a height of 1 after 4 seconds, 1 meter. So I'd say 1 meter. Uh, this one says, what's the start height? If you look at your graph, start height is... <clears throat> just where it crosses the y-axis. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more here. Um, yeah, I can't figure out how to zoom in anymore. But anyway, this thing crosses the y-axis right at 
um, right at zero, or sorry, or right at one. It, it crosses right at one, and you might not be able to see that there. I can't even really see it, but the way I actually know is just from looking right at the graph. Remember on that that first thing that you did, that last number is always the y-intercept. So if this thing goes up like this, then it must cross the y-axis at one. So it has a start height of one meter. It starts right at one meter. Um, the other way you could find that, if you just weren't even sure about that, is what's the uh, the x value there? The x value is zero. So if I want to figure out the y value with that, I'd go menu, um, trace, trace graph, and then I'm just going to put zero. So I'm going to say when x is equal to zero, what is y? It's equal to one. It shows right there, right? Zero comma one. All right. So we got that one. Start height. Time spent in air. If we're looking at our graph again, time, remember, is the x-axis. So we're really seeing how far along the x-axis does it go. What we need to figure out is what is that point right where it crosses the x-axis. So to find that, we need to find what's called the zeros or the solutions. They, they go by many names. Um, let's push menu. It's, in, it's under analyze graph as well. And then it's under uh, zero. So push zero. And again, all you're going to do is go to the left of where you want, go to the right. And it's even asking me, oh, the zero, is that what you're looking for? So I push enter and it's 4.050. So pretty much four seconds. And if you didn't actually do the these steps that I did, you'd probably look at it and be like, oh, it crosses at four. But it's not quite four. Or it's just past four, I guess. It's 4.05. So time spent in there would be 4.05 seconds. Nope. Um, when is it at a height of two meters? Well, we've done that kind of thing already, right? All you have to do is go menu, trace, trace graph, and now just tell that little spider where to go. Two. It's at 21, at two, right? Which is the vertex. I kind of forgot about that. So also could have figured that out when you figured out the vertex point, right? So at two, so 21 meters. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and do the second one. It's really the the same type of a th uh, questions there, um, and I'm gonna end that video there. And then I've got a new skill to to show you for for three. It's a new thing we're gonna do with the calculator. So I'll end that one there, and I'll see you guys in the next video.